Welcome to 100bytes.com. This is the next video in the OAuth and OpenID Connect series. Till now we have seen about the service discovery endpoints, how to get the access token, ID token using various flows like authorization code flow, implicit flow, resource owner credential flow, and the client credential flow. So and uh, after that uh, access token, uh, how to renew the expired access token using the refresh token flow. Whenever a token is issued, there has to be option for the entities to verify the token and to revoke the token. OAuth 2.0 uh, provided the standard for the uh, uh, provide the standard to introspect the token issued by the authorization server and to revoke the token which is issued by the authorization server. Uh, so in this video we will see about in this video we will see about both the token introspection and the token revocation. Uh, so so this token introspection is a like a method provided for the uh, like a resource server whenever it got, whenever it receives a token from the client to access the protected resource before serving the protected resource it will it want to uh, check whether the uh, the received token is valid and what are the entities in the uh, what are the claims in the token that can be uh, that can be achieved by calling this introspection endpoint exposure from the authorization server so uh, this uh, token introspection endpoint can be used to introspect the access token and ID token. Next is the token revoke. Token revoke endpoint which allows the clients to uh, notify the authorization server to revoke the access token and the re refresh token which is obtained previously from the authorization server. This allows the authorization server to clear, clean up the security credential which is related to this token. <clears throat> and we can revoke the access token and refresh token now the clients so for this token introspection i have created a uh, created on a created a new client which uses uh, you see like a grant type uh, i'm using client credential flow uh, you can see the like uh, i'm using the client secret basic till now we are using a client secret post so these difference and all we can we will see it in the later videos and the corresponding client id secret and uh, there is no redirect URI. Okay, now let's see then uh, demo. This token revoke and the token endpoint, you'll get it from the service uh, uh, service discovery endpoint. So you can see like an introspection endpoint here. So that is actually a token revoke and a revocation endpoint that is actually a token slash revoke. Okay, this token introspect is valid for uh, all the uh, four flows authorization flow, implicit flow, resource owner flow, and the client credential flow. Similarly, token revoke. So, we will see the combination of that. So, first, uh, what I'm going to do is like first, I'm going to uh, call the authorization code flow to get the access token, ID token, and the refresh token. Authorizing the client. So I got these tokens. Let me copy to the one place. Okay. I'll copy to here. So now come back to here. Uh, first, let me introspect these tokens. So we can introspect uh, access token and ID token. First, I'm copying copy pasting this access token so introspect so if you see here I'm making a post call to a uh, URL called token introspect where whatever the token which I want to introspect and you can also uh, pass an optional or token type hint actually which can be access token or ID token and the response uh, response which I got is like this is the one uh, so what is the subject scope and you can see there is something called active true that means like the token still valid and what is the token type is a bearer token okay now uh, uh, so now what we can do is like we can uh, uh, introspect the ID token okay I'm copy pasting this ID token here introspect it similarly uh, yeah post call is made for the I token introspect with the token which we got it from the uh, uh, client uh, user, uh, client and uh, the subject 
uh, issuer all those things informations are there and it also it's mentioned active is true when it is going to expire when it is issued at all those informations are specified here uh, <clears throat> now we will try to revoke these uh, tokens like first I'm going to revoke the access token okay I have revoked the access token so to revoke the token we have to hit the token uh, revoke URL with the post call payload the which with uh, the post the payload which has the token uh, and uh, token which we want to revoke client ID and the secret this we am using the client ID which uh, which we which we used for all other flows go back and again I'm going to introspect the same access token which we revoked it now I, we got active false so that means we just now revoked this can be this active false will be returned in, in in cases like when the access token is expired also now um, we will let let's revoke the refresh token I have revoked the re refresh token um, okay you can see like when when I'm revoking the refresh token I'm passing the token client ID and the secret go back I'm going to refresh uh, <coughs> I'm going to refresh the access token using the this refresh token which just now we revoked it so we got no response that, I mean that means like the token is expired uh, revoked Okay, that's all the demo about the token introspect and revoke this is how we need to re uh, introspect the uh, token and uh, revoke the token uh, let's see the code so as usual the main gate will have the information for the uh, mounted the uh, mounted the flows so first is the token introspect which is mounted for the token introspect flow class and the token revoke flow class is mounted on the token revoke URL so for this token introspect flow first we have to build the post call and hit the to token introspect endpoint uh, this uh, uh, this client uh, this endpoint okay for this flow I'm using a client secret basic uh, so as a hence I'm passing this client ID and the secret as a part of authorization header we will see more detail about the demo on the client secret basic uh, demonstration video but if, if you are using a client secret post then it has to be passed at the params so because of that only uh, we are you are not able to see it in the token introspect flow post called the client ID and secret because that is passed as part of the uh, authorization header so now we are just passing a token uh, which we want to check the token which you want to introspect and you make a post call using a jersey web client uh, you will get a response which is added in the uh, shown in the html page this is how you need to introspect the uh, token uh, to revoke the token there's a class called token revoke flow class in this like uh, this is using a client secret uh, post method so hence like you are passing the client id and the secret uh, in the in the in the payload and the token which you want to revoke uh, which you will hit the uh, endpoint called the token revoke endpoint uh, using a jersey web client and you'll get a response and the response is put it in the html file that's all about the token introspect and token revocation endpoint in the coming video we will see about the uh, client authentication methods all these source codes are present in the uh, bitbucket uh, so 100, uh, 100 bytes.com uh, source code repository please free free to access this code for understanding purpose thanks for watching this video please visit 100bytes.com for more tutorials thank you